Man, this tank sure is empty. So, how about we do an unboxing video? What up y'all, it's Jeff Wilson here at the Texas Fish Room. We got an unboxing video for y'all today. I hit up Rod from Predatory Fins. I saw he got some shipments in. Let's see what all I got in. Go on, get this box opened. Now this stuff is some stuff I've been waiting for and granted these are going into a smaller tank right now. We do have some big plans for what's in this box. First, what we have, I don't know if y'all can tell what that is. It is an extremely hated fish in the aquarium hobby. Most people say it shouldn't be in here. That's right, red tail catfish. We come to this next one. We have some peacock bass. Then we have a tiger shovel nose. I've been wanting these for a little while. I've had a Lima shovel nose for a while and I've just wanted something that gets a little bit bigger. And last in this box is a gold garami. Let's go on and get these acclimated so y'all can see how they look in their aquarium. Well, they've been acclimated for about 15, 20 minutes. So I want to get them out of their bag. Uh, oh. Well, let me go get a knife and then we'll get them out of their bags. Oh, couldn't find a knife. Got the next best thing. They definitely have these rubber band up good and tight as always don't put this water in there now, I'm gonna try to keep him in his bag being a catfish I hate putting them in these small nets so we'll drain the water Let him swim around. Into the red tail. We'll do the same thing. I do have a net here in case he decides to swim out. I can't catch them while I'm pouring out this water. But with any type of catfish, I just hate using nets on them because I don't want to rip off their whiskers or hurt them. There he goes. And with this, we're going to put, with the shovel nose and the red tail, we're going to put the peacocks in this aquarium as well for right now. These are just a grow out. I know if you follow me on Instagram, 
you constantly see me picking up some big tanks. We got several of them. We're just trying to get the sands and filtration and everything all built up, ready to go. peacocks in there and move to this tank for our golden garanta. Then we'll do the same thing. Let's check these bad boys out. So there we have our tiger shovel nose. He's about three inches long right now. There's our peacock bass. And off in that corner, we see that red tail. He's somewhere around two, two and a half inches long. We come to this one. And there's our golden garami. We're gonna let these guys sit in these tanks for a little bit. Um, get some of their lighting put back on here so we get some better video and see the, how they're doing whenever I get home from work. Well, it's been about six hours since we've put these in here. Uh, I did feed the garami and he is eating. Right now he's just chilling over here. He was being real active earlier when I first got here, swimming around all and greeting me pretty much. But he seems to be doing pretty well. Actually, he's got this 55 to grow out in for a little bit. So we have the red tail. He's off in the corner. He just finished shading a few minutes ago. He's now just laying here. As far as the others, they are hiding pretty well for me. The tiger shovel nose is hiding behind the air filter. And the peacock bass are, well, I don't think the camera's gonna pick them up for me. But they are back behind that little rock structure I put in there for them to hide uh, themselves from well, pretty much the catfish so they don't bother them. Let's try to get this guy out. There you look at him. Oh, scared him. And also I brought the peacock bass out. They haven't ate for me yet, but I'm sure they will before too much longer. I'm just ready to see these things all grown out. Well, hope y'all enjoyed this little unboxing video I did. And I know some of y'all might be wondering, hey, isn't that one of the aquariums you just put the white clouds in? Well, I did have to move them. Since they made it all through quarantine, everything was doing well. They're now in here with all the Corydoras and the Celestial Park Daniels. They seem to be doing pretty well. I did lose some of the CBDs, CPDs, um, but everyone else, all the corridors and stuff were doing great from the other day. Now, I imagine some of you are asking, Jeff, you did just get some monster fish. You put them in a small 55 gallon aquarium. Well, I might have few empty aquariums laying around here that can house a few big fish 
But as for some later videos, be sure to subscribe and you can see what all we got up coming up in the next few months. We got a lot of stuff we are working on. I am in the process of cleaning up the fish room as to make room for some really big stuff. And yeah, that's one of them. Finally get, maybe get that up and going. But y'all take it easy.